Hey, I'm Andrew. I'm a uh, registered physio and territory manager in New Zealand for DJO. Um, today we're going to go over the uh, theory and practical application behind our Exos braces. Um, so Exos is a really innovative uh, casting or bracing system for the management of upper limb fractures um, and other instabilities and injuries of the wrist and the hand. So with the Exos braces we've got a whole range of prefabricated designs um, that are based on the injury site of your patient. Uh, so we've got um, arm based splints, so these are like the short arm fracture brace. Uh, we've got boxer fracture cast and also long thumb spikers as examples. Uh, with the uh, hand based splints we've got short little thumb spikers as well as metacarpal uh, splints. So for example ulnar gutter and radial gutter casts as well. So Exos can act as an alternative to a traditional plaster cast that you may have used in the past. Um, obviously with the added benefit with Exos is it's completely waterproof um, and it can be remoulded multiple times. So for example if a patient's swelling goes down after the acute injury um, you can actually chuck the splint back into the oven um, and remould it to your patient without using a whole other new cast. So another benefit of the Exos braces is that they're radio translucent. Uh, so in a fracture clinic setting you can easily x-ray through the brace to examine the injury site without actually having to take the cast off. So the braces themselves um, are completely rigid um, but they're heat mouldable so when we put them into the oven um, and for about five minutes they'll go completely soft neoprene like material and then they'll slowly go rigid as you form them to your patient. Um, in terms of what they're actually made of, you've got three layers. So the internal layer is an antimicrobial layer um, and the internal layer is a thermoplastic type material which provides the rigidity and then you've got an outer coating as well. Uh, the braces can be customised, um, so if you did have a wound site that you wanted to cut around, you've got the ability to do that and you've also got the ability to use our Exos finishing tape um, to cover up any exposed edges. So in terms of tightening and applying the brace, the most important feature um, and unique feature on the braces is the BOA retention system. So you may have seen these on a whole range of other products like golf shoes and cycling shoes. Uh, DJO has the license to use these on our rigid braces. Um, how these work is that to loosen the, the splint, um, you pop the BOA system off, you pull the tab and then that will loosen right off. And then to tighten the splint, push the boa down and then you tighten that up to a level that's comfortable for your patient. So in terms of the patient care aspect of looking after the, the brace and also maintaining their skin integrity under the brace, it's really important to give patients really clear instructions. Um, the first thing is obviously they can wash and bathe and, and swim in the brace if, they, if that's indicated, um, but it's really important after they do that to dry the skin underneath. Um, to do that you don't have to take the whole uh, brace off, all you have to do is pop the boa system, loosen it off slightly and then just get a really good flow of air under the brace. Uh, if you don't do that you have the risk of the skin becoming slightly macerated underneath so it's really important to pass those instructions on to patients. The other thing that may happen is the brace can become uh, quite um, smelly and dirty so you may want to actually wash it which you've got the ability to do so. So a nice easy way of doing that is rinsing it in a warm bucket of soapy water um, and then just make sure you rinse it off thoroughly. So in addition to the um, accessory with the lock ring kit, you can also purchase a Exos undergarment or an undersleeve that goes under the brace. That's really nice for patients that may have slightly more sensitive skin um, and that's widely used by many of our clinicians. So in terms of the practical application of heating the braces up and pushing them on your patient, we can provide your clinic with one of our special Exos ovens. Um, this is a convection oven so it just uses a dry heat um, to mould or heat up the brace. Um, so what you do is you turn the temperature up to high and you back it off slightly and then you heat the brace for approximately five minutes. I always recommend just letting the brace cool down for about 10 to 15 seconds before applying it to your patient. A common question we get asked um, with any new product is how it compares um, in terms of the level of stability it gives the patient um, in comparison to a traditional plaster cast. 
Uh, we've recently released a biomechanical study which shows um, that for a stable distal radius fracture, um, the exhaust short arm fracture brace will give the same equivalent level of immobilisation to that fracture than a traditional plaster cast. So Exos has already been widely uh, implemented by a range of our uh, clinicians that we work with. Uh, so we've got people in a rehab setting, so physios and hand therapists. Uh, we've got fracture nurses and fracture clinics using these in an acute setting. And then we've also got surgeons prescribing these post-operatively. So if you think that your patients would benefit from an Exos cast, get in touch with one of us um, and we can come and provide some training for your team.